Tonight is the final story in our special five-part series highlighting historic structures in the valley that many people might not know about. Tonight, we're taking you to Ashland, where people have been wondering about a little key shop near the Oregon Shakespeare Festival. Overgrown shrubs, dusty windows, and peeling paint. This old, empty shop located at 166 Hargadine Street, not what you'd expect to see in a residential area in the heart of downtown Ashland. It's unusual in a town like Ashland, which economically has been pretty successful for a long time, to have a building that sits vacant like this. And it's been vacant for years. Well, I can't remember it ever being open for business, and I've lived in the valley for over 30 years. But peek in the windows and you'll see remnants of the past. The key shop was the Edwards Key Shop, uh, built by a man named Oren Edwards. And he operated a key shop and bicycle repair store there from at least 1948. According to a write-up in the National Register of Historic Places, Edwards also specialized in lawnmower repair and locksmith work. His son then operated the business until 1982 when it closed. They literally lock the door and they walk away and they become these sort of timepieces. And if you look toward the back of the shop, you can still see the posted labor rates. A complete overhaul for a two or three speed bike for seven dollars? What a deal! To have that in Ashland um, within walking distance of the Shakespeare Festival in downtown is really unusual and that's why I think everybody notices that building and why there's a lot of affection for it even though it's just an empty building. A building still under lock and key with a future that's still somewhat of a mystery. The key shop was built so long ago that zoning laws weren't even established yet in Ashland. Now, as it stands, the key shop does not have an active business license. It's not built to the required setback rules, and it's not a residence. So the city of Ashland says until a change in use is proposed, the building will stay the way it is. Hopefully it'll never change. I know. It's a lot of character right there. I love it. It is a lot of character. And, you know, this week has been really exciting, learning all these little historical tidbits about the Rogue Valley. And if you missed any of them, you can always head to our website. I posted them all online so we go. can relive history together. And if you have any suggestions, fire them away. Absolutely. <laughs> it's been so cool to see.